Hello everyone, thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Emily Bradley and I am part of Medit's education training and support team. And um, today we're going to be covering smart color filtering and we're going to be covering smart scan filtering. As always, our webinars are being recorded, so you will be receiving the webinar about 24 hours from the time of the recording. Um, we'd love to hear from you as well. If you have any questions, just go ahead and click on the control panel on the right-hand side of the screen, and um, you'll be able to click in the little chat box. You can type your questions to us, and we'll make sure we get your questions answered before we end the webinar. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with smart color filtering. As you can see, I previously scanned a model here, um, just to save time, as mentioned before, we like to keep them short and easy to go back and view again. Now, in order to do smart color filtering, I'm going to click on the little icon here at the bottom of the screen. Like any icon in Medit, if you click on it or hover over it, it'll explain what the icon is for, what the tool is for. So this is smart color filtering. This allows us to filter out glove color. So if I go ahead and click here, it's going to open this box right here above the original icon and I'm going to click on this little filter to add a color. Okay so you can see here that we have three options at the top of the screen. So I've got one color added and I have options for two more. Now it's really important to remember as you're adding options not to add black or white or any colors that resemble the colors in the mouth such as tooth color or gingiva color because we're not we want to make sure that we do not end up filtering out any of that vital information later on so I've already got a color entered here let's go ahead and click on the second box here in the middle to add a new color and what I'm going to do is pick up my scanner and I'm going to go ahead and press the blue start stop button just like I would if I was going to scan a patient I'm going to hold it over the top of my glove so I can pick up that color you can see it takes about three to five seconds is all in order to scan the color. Now, I have an option here. I can either delete this if I feel like there was too much of a glare maybe on the glove as I was scanning, or I can confirm. And now I have two different colors entered here. So I can either keep it on or off here at the bottom and reselect or deselect the colors as I, as I choose as I'm scanning. Okay, so in just a minute, we're going to go into remote control mode and show you where to find these options in remote control mode for those of you with the i700. Now our next option here is we're going to go into smart scan filtering. So that's this option right here. And those of you who I've trained with in the past know that I really like this filter. So I can take this ball here and slide it all the way to the left along the bar. If I slide it all the way to the left, this is no filter. So as I'm scanning the teeth of the patient, if I pick up some gum tissue, if I or some cheek tissue, if I if I pick up some tongue or a little bit of lip when I'm scanning that incisal edge, it's not going to filter any of that information out. It's going to leave that soft tissue there. Now, this no filter option here is really valuable when you're scanning an edentulist patient because you want to pick up as much as that of that information as possible. If I take this little ball and I slide it towards the center here. This little icon here means it's going to scan teeth and gum and gingiva. So it'll filter out the soft tissue and everything other than teeth and gum tissue, basically like what I did here. So um, for me, I think in general, this is going to be the tool that's used the most, the filter that's used most often for most people scanning. Now, if I slide out all the way to the right here, this is going to only scan teeth. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the, the mandible here. You see I've got kind of a, a partial arch scanned and I, and I like to scan on a model for these webinars just because I can talk through it as I'm actually scanning. So what I'm going to do, I've moved this filter all the way to the right hand side and I'm going to go ahead and continue scanning and I want you to see how this looks. So what you're looking at now is basically teeth and gum tissue. But if I continue scanning, I'll press start on a I'll start on a previously scanned area. And as I come back, I want you to see how the, the tissue that's picked up is small and it's basically scallops along the um, CEJ line there. So you're not picking up, it's not allowing me to pick up any more gum tissue, even if I wanted to. So it, it allows you to scan teeth and just that very edge of gum tissue below it here. Okay. So this previous part of the model here was scanned with the filter here in the middle and I can pick up as much gum tissue as I like with that. If I move it all the way to the right, 
you can see here, it gives almost a scallop motion and no more gum tissue will be added to this file. Now, let's find out where these features can be found in remote control mode. So for those of you with the i700, I'm going to take the remote control button, which is the white button right below the blue start stop button, and I'm going to press it down and long hold it. So a long hold means I'm actually going to hold it in place until I feel a small vibration in the handpiece and it opens to remote control mode that you're looking at here. And we're not gonna spend a lot of um, time here in remote control mode. Um, I want you to see initially we have rotate here on the bottom left hand side of the screen. If I short hold the remote control bo button or short click, I can switch to pan, and then if I short click again, I can switch to zoom. I can zoom in and out if I choose to. So we've got a long hold that opens up remote control mode for us. And then we can short click, rotate the model, zoom and pan as we choose without going back to the keyboard or the mouse. Now, in order to get into settings in remote control mode, I'm gonna go ahead and long hold the remote control button. So you'll see I'll press it right in the middle. I'm going to hold it down and then this screen will pop up. I've got options to either exit remote control mode or I can open settings and that's where we're going to go. So by, by right clicking on the remote control button, I can go ahead and open settings. So I'm not going to go through all the features here in settings, but what I am going to do is show you where to find your smart color filtering and smart scan filtering so you know you can adjust these or turn them on and off while you're in remote control mode without having to go back to basic scan mode. So I've opened settings here and I'm going to quick click on the remote control button and here I've got smart scan filtering. I'm going to click to the right so I can either go no filter, teeth and gingiva, or just scan teeth. Generally, as I mentioned, we're going to keep it at teeth and gingiva. I'm going to short click to exit that section, and then I'm going to arrow down here, just using the remote control button, arrow down, color filtering, smart color filtering, and I can either switch it on or off by clicking on the right or, or moving right or left. I can also go down here and Un deselect, turn it off, or I can actually select the color that I want to choose. And you can see here that both my colors are very, very much the same. So you can choose the color, select here, or switch the color off entirely if you choose to. Okay, so that's how you actually make these adjustments in remote control mode. Remember, in order to get to remote control mode, you're going to long hold the remote control button, which will open into rotate, pan and zoom, so we can view this model without actually having to go back to our keyboard or, our, or the mouse. And then once we're in remote control mode, you're going to long hold the remote control button, which will give us the option to either exit remote control mode and go back into basic scan mode or open settings. Okay, I hope this was helpful for you today. These are amazing tools that were provided by the Medit team. Um, filters that help with the scanning process. Again, one helps you filter gloves, color, and the other actually helps filter soft tissue if need be, or to leave all the soft tissue if you're scanning an edentulous patient. As always, thank you for joining in the webinar. We look forward to seeing you next time and um, have a great night. Thank you, bye-bye.